even when she was like three years old, she wanted, she would push her mother's hands away. She wanted to tie her own shoestrings, even with the mom figure, get away from those shoes. There was, a, there was a, a, an independence that was there. And the spirit will use that, even that little spunk, to say, okay, my way or the highway? Okay, let's try the highway then. Even as a little girl, she had got so upset with her, her family when she was quite young um, that she had basically uh, threatened to leave home as a young child, not even 15. And, uh, and her mother, who's part of our community, Jackie, she said, okay, then let's pack your bag. She called her bluff. <laughs> And then little Kirsten packed her bag with her mother's help. <laughs> and then her mother gave her a hug and said, there you go. Out the right shoulder to the door. And then Kirsten began walking and walking and each step she took, it was like her whole world was unraveling. Like, pack your bag. She thought the reaction would be, no, please don't go. You know, she was used for bartering. Well, Jackie was pretty tuned in. Pack your bag, let's help you go. And then she just, Jackie watched her as she walked out. And then Jackie called the neighbor and said, Kirsten's coming by. You know, and she only got up to the neighbors where she turned around and came back. Running to Jackie's arms. Don't you love me? I thought you loved me. Yes, I love you. You know. <laughs> It was a way that the Spirit called the bluff, but still was like, try it out. You see the, the, the grace of try it out for yourself. When you're a young child, you're walking out into this world and you try it out. It wasn't like trying to hold her back. And I think all of us can relate to that story, even in our adult lives, that, that some of you might remember um, the movie, What the Bleep Do We Know? And you might remember the physicist uh, Fred Allen Wolf at the very end. That was the last scene of the movie, with his hair flying all over the place. Don't just take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Isn't that wonderful? What a wonderful way to end a quantum physics movie, a down-the-rabbit-hole movie. Don't just take my word for it. Try it for yourself. And that's what we're doing here. That's why we're all here, out here in this rural canyon, is because we're interested in the try it for yourself part. We're interested in building our confidence, building our trust, building our faith, just to be able to take those unwinding steps in the direction of true freedom, of freeing our minds from the ego. In a world which seems to be all based on ego, and, and trying to solve the problems and frustrations by building a life in the world, Jesus is saying, no, come into your mind and I'll work with you. And basically all the main steps that we take are really lessons for us in our mind. There aren't really personal lessons because the main lesson is forgiveness, is undoing the identification with the persona, with the personality. And we have to admit, none of us were trained for that, so it's going to take a lot of trust.